here we go. It's a good start. Too wide on this turn. Trying to stay under the red line. So, the final time for Sharapov is 100.959. It's not all about the start, it's about the finish. Not so fast in the beginning. First lap was 19.3. He's close after 500 meters. Too wide on this corner. You can feel the pain on his face. It is very difficult for him, but he's leading the race right now. Can he hold on? Yes, he can. We have a new leader. It's uh, Mark Jurczyk. Everybody is waiting for something special. It's Quentin Lafarge against the clock. He's a big favorite here, of course. With his experience, with his power, but he is famous for his ability to accelerate himself each lap. Not the best second lap. He can manage to keep his tempo. So Quentin Lafarge, ah, he's only second. He lost to Mark Jurczyk. It's a massive crash over there, massive crash on the turn. The race is going to be stopped. The crash was not the pleasant one. I think it's uh, the Maria Martins from Portugal. So I think every, everybody is ready to continue right now. It's a dangerous situation right now for Alzbeta Bacikova from Slovakia. Oh, th that's a huge sensation. Alice Sharp is eliminated from the race, being only eighth. But who's going to take gold? I suppose that Belisaita not have enough power in her tank. Yeah, and you can see she's dropped. And now it's between Maria Martins and Diana Klimova. And here we go, the last lap, final 250 meters. It's Klimova against Martins. And Martins is the one who wins it. Klimova being only second, Balisaite third. Women's sprint finals, bronze medal battle between Simona Krupetskaita and Alessa Katriona Propster. It's final lap, Krupetskaita moves up front, Propster on her wheel. Does Krupetskaita has the power to hold here? Yes, he does. It's a victory for Simona Krupetskaite. He gets, she gets her bronze medal. So, women's sprint finals. Battle for first, battle for gold. Jana Tishinka against Anastasia Voinova. It was easy win for Voinova on the first leg. Tishinka is getting close. Voinova is doing very well, blocking her opponent. No way Tishinka is going to get it. Perfect acceleration by Voinova, but Tishinka is on her wheel. Wow! But just not enough power to beat Voinova. She's too strong and she's a dessert winner. Both these riders are equal. This race is really close. And now Inkov moves to the first place. He's getting faster and faster. He's getting close. He can see the back of Plebony by the end of the line. It's more than four seconds, five seconds. And he's... Inkov falls. I hope he's okay. So he caught Plebani, but uh, did not decide from which side he's going to he's going to overcome him. It's Kyle Gordon, Scottish rider against Gleb Syriza from Russia. Five 
fast start for Gleb. It's half a second ahead of us, Gordon. Nice aerodynamic position on the bike for Kyle Gordon. 1.4 for Gleb. Getting close faster and faster. 3.3. Everything looks perfect for Gleb Syriza. It's 1k to go and Syriza is very close to Kyle Gordon. Oh, horrible crash by, I think, Korolok. I think it was an illegal move by Denis Rugovac from Czech Republic. Okay, so here we go. Korolok is back. Eight riders left. Difficult situation for Lafarge. Now he has to move. That's it for Quentin Lafarge. Standing ovation for the legend, for the veteran. Four left. Rostovtsev, Wolikaki, Smirnov and Giordani. It's a very dangerous situation for the Italian. But it's Wolikaki, uh, the one who is out. It's a fourth place. There are troubles for Alexander Smirnov. And Smirnov is out. But now it's all about Rostovtsev against Giordani for the goal. And Giordani is out of energy, while Rostovtsev accelerates and gets the victory. The gold for Sergei Rostovtsev. Wow, Sergei Rostovtsev was disqualified from the race. So, because of the fact that Rostovtsev removed his helmet, that means that uh, Giordani gets gold, Smirnov is second, and Volikaki third.